in civil engineering you will venture on a journey of learning to create roads tall buildings and bridges using the most modern construction methods and resources you will also learn innovative methods and use natural and advanced resources to build structures that stand the test of the time but remember our mother earth always needs your help future generations rely on us to implement sustainable practices to ensure a thriving planet for years to come for this you have the power to make a significant impact by designing eco friendly infrastructure conserving resources and minimizing environmental footprints sustainability in construction revolves around embracing a mantra that includes planting trees to provide ample oxygen reducing energy consumption and fostering harmony among living beings by minimizing the resources used in buildings construction operation and maintenance we can decrease the impact on the environment additionally by curbing carbon emissions pollution and waste associated with building components we can ensure a greener and more sustainable future for generations to come these practices in civil engineering pave the way for a better quality of life for all in this video we will discuss three projects in civil engineering which does environmental impact assessment for all the three projects you can use open lca moving on to the first project when we design high rise buildings or when we design homes we have been using energy intensive materials such as cement glass steel aluminum and concrete blocks by incorporating innovative materials like recycled steel engineered wood and sustainable concrete mixes we can significantly reduce the carbon footprint of our structures so the first project is low carbon construction materials for sustainable infrastructure the objective of the project is to investigate and assess the environmental impact of various low carbon construction materials in comparison to traditional materials aiming to promote more sustainable and eco-friendly infrastructure development the experimental setup will be select a range of construction materials commonly used in civil engineering projects including traditional materials for example concrete or steel and low carbon alternatives for example recycled materials bio based composites etc you can uh, define the scope of the life cycle assessment study from raw material extraction to manufacturing transportation construction and end of life disposal or recycling the relevant software that you can use is lca a software like sima pro gabi or open lca the outcomes of this project are this project will yield a comprehensive comparative analysis of the environmental impacts for example carbon footprint and energy consumption of different construction materials the results will help in informed decision making for future construction projects favoring materials with lower environmental footprints as the number of vehicles in a city increases over time the emissions also increases when the road was initially constructed there were fewer vehicles so emissions were relatively lower but as the population grows more people own cars and the overall vehicle count rises resulting in surge in emissions the number of vehicles leads to increased fuel combustion and exhaust emissions releasing greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide and also other air pollutants like nitrogen oxides and volatile organic compounds these emissions contribute to air pollution greenhouse effect and also smog formation impacting both environment and public health the next project will be 
Sustainable Mobility and Transport Planning for a Smart City. The objective of this project is to reduce traffic congestion, improve air quality, promote active transportation and enhance the overall urban mobility by leveraging modern technologies and data-driven solutions. The experimental setup would involve traffic data collection which will involve real-time and historic traffic data from various sources including sensors, GPS devices and traffic management centers, public transport analysis which will evaluate the efficiency and accessibility of existing public transportation systems including buses, trains and light rail, active transportation infrastructure which will assess the current state of pedestrian and cycling infrastructure in the city, Smart Technologies Integration, which will explore the implementation of smart technologies such as intelligent traffic, signal control systems, and smart parking solutions. The software as required will be GIS software, ArcGIS or QGIS, Traffic Analysis and Simulation Software, PTV, Visim or Synchro, for evaluating public transport systems, software solutions like Trapeze OPS, Hastas, or GFTS, General Transit Feed Specification, Smart Mobility Solutions, uh, which will involve intelligent traffic signal control systems like SCATS, Sydney Coordinative Adaptive Traffic System or SCOOT, Split Cycle Offset Optimization Technique, Smart Parking Solutions such as Park Mobile or Marco Media. Open LCA for Environmental Impact Assessment. Data analytics and big data platforms will include Apache Hadoop, Apache Spark or Microsoft Azure. By reducing emissions from vehicles and transitioning to green electric vehicles, we can mitigate the adverse impacts of transportation. As we shift towards energy resources which are renewable, we can further decrease greenhouse gas emissions and make our planet more sustainable. Deforestation and continuous transformation of natural habitats into urban areas are significant concerns for our future generations. As cities expand and forests disappear, we lose our valuable sources of oxygen production and carbon dioxide absorption. If deforestation continues to remain unchecked, our generations will face the grim reality where oxygen levels might decline and carbon dioxide emissions may rise to alarming levels. With diminishing green spaces and rising pollution, air quality in cities might deteriorate, make it challenging to breathe clean air. Oxygen cylinders and masks will become necessary for everyday life as outdoor air may no longer be safe to breathe. To prevent such a grim scenario, we need to take urgent action to halt deforestation and adopt sustainable land practices. The next project is Green Roof Implementation for Sustainable Urban Development. The objective is to evaluate the environmental and ecological benefits of green roofs in urban areas promoting sustainable urban development and mitigating urban heat island effect. The experimental setup would involve green roof design and installation where green roofs can vary in terms of vegetation types, substrate depth and irrigation methods, environmental monitoring where you can set up environmental sensors on green roofs and also conventional roofs to measure temperature, humidity and air quality. Rainwater harvesting, which will involve harvesting uh, rainwater and assess the uh, potential of the rainwater and monitor the quantity of water retained, it, retained in the vegetation and also substrate. Biodiversity assessment. Conduct biodiversity surveys on green roofs to identify plant species and potential habitat for insects and birds. The relevant software is OpenLCA for life cycle assessment of green roofs. 
the outcomes will be energy efficiency analysis storm water management benefits including their ability to retain and delay rainwater runoff carbon sequestration assess the carbon sequestration potential of the green roof by estimating the amount of carbon dioxide absorbed by the vegetation biodiversity enhancement analyze the contribution of uh, green roofs to biodiversity conservation considering the presence of different plant species and potential habitat for insects and birds policy recommendations based on the project outcomes we can provide recommendations for implementing green roof policies and incentives to promote sustainable urban development so green roofs offer improved air quality through carbon dioxide absorption and oxygen release it will provide natural temperature regulation and efficient storm water management they foster urban biodiversity and in some cases this uh, green vegetation provides space for food production they also have shown to provide a positive impact on our mental well-being and release of stress Green roofs also provide a habitat for various plant species attracting different insects birds and other wildlife You are watching Edtech Tutorials for more educational content like share and subscribe